Hi, everybody, and welcome to story time tonight. Oh, I'm so excited because the book I'm going to share with you is one of my very, very, very favorite stories. I have lots and lots of, well, not lots and lots, but quite a few uh, books about my friend Amelia Bedelia. So I know Wendy has been waiting to hear about my friend Amelia. So tonight, Wendy, this is your special night and the rest of us are just going to enjoy this. Now I'm going to tell you, Amelia does some pretty strange things. So you're going to have to like really pay attention and really listen. She is someone who takes everything literally. So sometimes when we talk, we may not realize it, but we kind of say funny things that mean something, but they could also mean something else, okay? So this here is my friend, Amelia Bedelia, and I just cannot wait to read to you one of these stories. Now, when I picked this story and I opened it up and I looked inside, I got this book when I got married in 1989. That's over 30 years ago. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to read you this story. I hope you have had a wonderful week. Hope you've done a lot of nice things. I know that God has been extra, extra good to you because he is a really, really good friend to us. So we're going to get started because this book is kind of long, okay? So let's get going today and you're going to like this book a real lot. So here we go. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, your first day of work and I can't be here, but I made a list for you. You do just what that list said, says Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers got into the car with Mr. Rogers and they drove away. My, what nice folks. I'm going to like working here, said Amelia Bedelia. There goes Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. Oh yeah, they got a dog. <laughs> oh yeah. And there is Amelia Bedelia. That's a pretty nice looking house, huh? Yep, off they go. Amelia Bedelia went inside. Oh, she looked around. Such a grand house. These must be rich folks, but I must get to work. Here I stand just looking and me with a whole list of things to do. Amelia Bedelia stood there just a minute longer. Oh, looking at everything. I think I'll make a surprise for them. I'll make them a lemon meringue pie. Oh, I don't know about you, but I love lemon meringue pies. And my mama makes the best lemon meringue pies. And every once in a while, she'll make one for me. Oh, she's the best. Amelia Bedelia said, I do make awesome pies. There she is. See her long list in her hand. And she's just looking at everything in the house. So Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. She put a little of this and a pinch of that into a bowl. She mixed and she rolled. And soon her pie was ready to go into the oven. There, said Amelia Bedelia. That's done. There she is. She's got all her cooking supplies. Oh, <gasps> doesn't that pie look good? Ooh, ooh, a lemon meringue pie. Now, now that I have my pie done, let's see what this list says, Amelia Bedelia read. 
change the towels in the green bathroom. Amelia Bedelia found the green bathroom. Hmm, those towels are very nice. <laughs> I don't know why they want to change them, she thought. Then Amelia Bedelia remembered what Mrs. Rogers had said. She must do just what the list told her to do. Well, in that case, I'll do what the list says, said Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia got some scissors. She snipped a little here and a little there, and she changed those towels. Look at what she did. Oh no, she's cutting patterns in those towels. Do you know what Mrs. Rogers meant for her to do when she said change the towels? You think about that, okay? There, said Amelia Bedelia. She looked at her list again. Dust the furniture. Did you ever hear tell of such a silly thing? At my house, we undust the furniture. But to each his own. Amelia Bedelia took one last look at the bathroom. She saw a big box with the words dusting powder on it. Well, look at that. A special powder to dust with, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia dusted the furniture. That should be dusty enough. My, how nice it smells. Oh no, look it. She put dust all over the furniture. After all, Mrs. Rogers said, dust the furniture. <laughs> this is why I like Amelia Bedelia so much. So she looked at her list again, and the next item was draw the drapes when the sun comes in. Hmm, she looked up. The sun was coming in. Amelia Bedelia looked at the list again. Draw the drapes. That's what it says. I'm not much of a hand at drawing, but I'll try. So Amelia Bedelia sat right down and she drew those drapes. <laughs> Do you think that's what Mrs. Rogers meant for her to do to draw the drapes? Mm, I don't think so. You think about that. Amelia Bedelia marked off about the drapes. Now what is next? Put the lights out when you finish in the living room. Amelia Bedelia thought about that a minute. She switched off the lights. Then she carefully unscrewed each bulb. What is she doing that for? And Amelia Delia put the lights out. So those things need to be aired out too, she thought. Just like pillows and babies. Oh, I do have a lot to learn. Here she is unscrewing the light bulbs, and look what she did. She, she hung all the light bulbs out on the clothesline. <laughs> Do you think that's what Mrs. Rogers actually meant when she told her to take and put the lights out? <laughs> I don't think so. My pie, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. She hurried to the kitchen. Oh, 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 thank goodness. It's just right, she said. She took the pie out of the oven and put it on the table to cool. 
Then she looked at the list again. Measure two cups of rice. That sounds easy enough, doesn't it? Oh, that's next, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia found two cups. She filled them with rice. And Amelia Bedelia measured the rice. Amelia Bedelia laughed. These folks do want me to do funny things. Then she poured the rice back into the container. There's your pie. Ooh, can you smell it? Oh, I can. And there she is. Do you think that that's what Mrs. Rogers meant? Look at her measuring the rice. And then she poured it all back into the box again. I don't know. The meat market on the next list will deliver a steak and a chicken. Please trim the fat before you put the steak in the ice box. And please dress the chicken. When the meat arrived, Amelia Bedelia opened the bag. She looked at the steak for a long, long, long time. Yes, she said, that will do nicely. Amelia Bedelia got some lace and bits of ribbon, and Amelia Bedelia trimmed that fat before she put the steak in the icebox. Now I must dress the chicken. I wonder if she wants a he chicken or a she chicken. And Amelia Bedelia went right to work. Soon the chicken was finished. There she goes. She's getting all this stuff up here. Oh no. She's going to dress the chicken. Dressing the chicken so that you kids know, it means that you get it ready to cook. You don't put clothes on the chicken. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia heard the door open. The folks are back, she said. She rushed out to meet them. Uh, 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 Amelia Bedelia, why, why are all the light bulbs outside? Asked Mr. Rogers. The list just said to put the lights out. It didn't say to bring them back in. Oh, I do hope they didn't get aired too long. Amelia Bedelia, the sun will fade the furniture. I asked you to draw the drapes, said Mrs. Rogers. I did, I did. See, said Amelia Bedelia. She held up her picture. Look at Mr. Rogers is looking at all those light bulbs. And Amelia Bedelia is wondering if she missed something on the list. But she thought it said just to take them out and air them out. It didn't say bring them back in. And she's worried she left them out too long to get too much air. Oh, Amelia is so funny. And she's showing Mrs. Rogers the drapes. Mrs. Rogers meant to close the drapes. Not draw the drapes, but draw the drapes means the same thing as close the drapes. <laughs> Amelia certainly got a lot of things mixed up. <gasps> then Mrs. Rogers saw the furniture. The furniture, she cried. Did, did I dust it well enough? asked Amelia Bedelia. That's such a nice dusting powder. Mrs. Rogers went to wash her hands. I say, he called, these are very unusual towels. Mrs. Rogers dashed into the bathroom. Oh, 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 my best towel, she says. Didn't I change them enough? Asked Amelia Bedelia. 
Oh, Mrs. Rogers is just fit to be tied, isn't she? <laughs> oh, look what Amelia Bedelia did to her very best towels. She did change them, didn't she? <laughs> she did. <laughs> Mrs. Rogers went to the kitchen. I'll cook the dinner. Where is the rice I asked you to measure? I put it back in the container, but I remember it measured four and a half inches, said Amelia Bedelia. Oh, was the meat delivered, asked Mrs. Rogers. Oh, yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I trimmed the fat just like you said. It does look nice. Mrs. Rogers rushed to the icebox. She opened it. Lace? Ribbons? Oh, dear, said Mrs. Rogers. Look what she did. Oh, my goodness. She put ribbons all around the stake to trim it. <laughs> How silly is she? The chicken... You dressed the chicken, asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, and I found the nicest box to put him in, said Amelia Bedelia. Box, exclaimed Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried over to the box. She lifted the lid. There lay the chicken, and he was as dressed as he could be. Look what she did. Isn't that funny? She put socks on his legs. <laughs> how silly, how silly. Mrs. Rogers, needless to say, by this point was angry. Oh, she was so angry. She opened her mouth and when she did... Mrs. Rogers meant to tell Amelia Bedelia she was fired. You are done. But before she could get the words out, Mr. Rogers put something in her mouth. Hmm. What do you think that was he put in her mouth? It was so good, Mrs. Rogers forgot about being angry. Lemon meringue pie, she exclaimed. I, I made it to surprise you, said Amelia Bedelia so happily. So right then and there, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers decided that even though Amelia Bedelia dressed the chicken, trimmed the steak, dusted the furniture, drew the drapes, hung the light bulbs out, cut the very best towels, her lemon meringue pie saved the day. And Amelia Bedelia, they said, you must stay. And so she did. Mrs. Rogers learned to say, undust the furniture, unlight the bulbs, close the drapes, and things like that. Mr. Rogers didn't care if Amelia Bedelia trimmed all of his stakes with lace. All he cared about was having her there to make lemon meringue pie. <laughs> and there she is. Oh, how silly. Have you ever had a time where someone told you to do something and you did it and it wasn't the way it was supposed to be done? We've all done that. But that's why I like Amelia Bedelia. She always, always makes me laugh. But then she always does something kind. 
that makes Mr. and Mrs. Rogers just love her to pieces. So I hope that you have liked my Amelia Bedelia book, Sister Wendy. I hope you liked it. She's one of my favorite, favorite stories to read. So it's time for us to go to bed. It has been a long day with lots of things that we have done. And now it's time to give Jesus our goodnight hugs, to tell him how much we love him, to thank him for being with us all week long, all day long, all night long. He never, ever leaves us. He is our very, very best friend. So let's give him our hug. Oh, yes. And make sure when you get in bed tonight, you just talk to him. You could even sing him a song. Oh, yes. He loves to be sung to. And make sure you tell him how much you love him and how much you appreciate him. Okay? And then just wrap your arms around him. Oh, 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 I better wake up. I almost went to sleep. I know. It's getting late. I just love you to the moon. Yep, you got it. Around Jupiter and Mars. Slide all around the Milky Way. Do you think the Milky Way is like the Milky Way chocolate bar? If it is, make sure you take a lip, lick on your way by. And I love you all the way back to my heart. You have a great sleep and you have a wonderful, wonderful week, okay? Just have lots of fun because you deserve it. And may God bless you with all his best. Love you. Have a great week. And I will see you next week, same time. Bye. Love you all bunches.